I was just broke last year, now the cash gone. Back was on ropes last year, but we back on. Thought we lost hope last year. Sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. Week four, we play against the Bucks, bro. Michael Parsons, bro, had an amazing game. Not gonna lie, bro. Michael Parsons had an amazing game. Versus the Cowboys. Versus his own team that traded him to us, bro. That's the crazy part, bro. And Michael Parsons got seven sacks. And he now in a lineman, bro. Michael Parsons. Oh, I got the hiccups. Excuse me, I got the hiccups again. Michael Parsons, defensive player of the year. Michael Parsons, defensive player of the year. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? Maybe. Who knows, bro? The Chiefs are 2 and 1. Yo, the Jaguars is 3 and 0. Oh? Damn, the Jets is 0 and 3. Bengals is 3 and 0. Oh. Damn, yo, the Packers is three and zero. It's crazy. I t as soon as I get it, gave them Debo, they been not getting out of control, bro. As soon as I give, as soon as I get him Debo before the end, of, before the start of the season, bro. Oh, and we home, but hey, look, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. Y'all already know how I do. I let the game play play out. And all eyes are on Mike Evans. Like He's coming the up a nice be on the way, fellas. Bringing in a pair of touchdowns. It's the Bucks and the Commanders. And see it comes to a video. way next oh, yeah. on Madden Football. This building holds just north of 80,000, and they have come out in very good numbers today at FedEx. in the air and the NFL season is in full swing and we're underway here in week four and no run back on the opening kickoff it'll come out to the 25 the 45 23 yards on the pickup there and a first opening quarter his opening carry of the game and i think they'll give it to him a few more times as they should you're exactly right about that with that type of a run you want to repeat it many times until they show signs of stopping it i think he did his visualization exercise before this one and they're paying off White's numbers from a week ago, 15 carries, 57 yards, and a touchdown as well. And I know that last week's game is over, but this feels almost like a continuation of what he did in the previous game. It's almost as if in his mind, he knitted together the two weeks with no break. He's off to a nice start here. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Anytime he reads man coverage, I don't think it's going to be the only time he'll try to hit that route to the outside in this game. They'll test the perimeter, but that time, they were up to the challenge. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. I'm not quite sure that they envisioned a much better start to this game when they practiced all week. But they failed on that third down play. That brings up fourth down, and they'll probably have to punt it away. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. So out comes the Washington offense as they get their first shot. And they'll be led out by a guy who has a couple years under his belt in the NFL, their third-year quarterback. And he's playing at a very high level here in this early part of the season. In fact, he leads the NFL in passing yards. Now, that's not always an indicator of success, but in his case, it is. The numbers in last week's bowl game for Robinson. 18 carries, 62 yards. I can't remember the last time we did a game and a coach didn't talk about establishing the run first, but they've lost two straight games, so they still want to do that, 
but they've got to have some contingencies, some other options. Expect them maybe to throw it a little bit to open up things and maybe run it a little bit more later in the game. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Now what a first down pickup of eight. of the shotgun. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. Touchdown, Washington. A great play there. His second touchdown on the season. And the Commanders are on the board first here this afternoon. Boy, Charles, this offense is just so explosive. They lead the league in scoring. And another example of just how good they are right there on that play. Yeah, we often overstate about how explosive teams are, but this team is truly a threat to score on every snap, especially on the first few plays of any series. And a big stroke like that that only adds to their reputation as the league's best offense. And there will not be a return here. It's a touchback, and it'll come out to the 25-yard line. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. The last series for them, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. The drive starts with a run by Wade, and he is gonna lose yardage here. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Clock rolling as we hit the midway point of this first quarter. On second down, they'll run with White. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The second down play results in a loss of two yards. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Operating from the gun, Clinchett. Too much juice. It'll be out of bounds incomplete. Looks like a second empty possession to start the game. It's certainly not the way you want to start when you come in off of a loss last week. Every team talks about starting fast. They're hoping on their next possession, it can be a delayed fast start and get them going. We'll call that a punt of 59 yards. Tough to do better than that. And the Commanders will take over with a first and ten. The Commanders going to retake the field for drive number two. This could end up being a pretty big drive. I mean, look, yes, it's early in this game, but they scored the touchdown. They got the stop. And now if they could get in the end zone here again, CD, they could grab an early stringer hold on this one. Yeah, they certainly can. And that's what you're looking for. Where's the advantage? Can you gain it? Can you press it? Now for them, finishing it off because right now it's out there for them. They just got to go seize it. Third and five. Here's Hal. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Zone coverage there, and they were playing deep. That makes it obviously a little bit harder to run by guys. And that time, there was not much of a window to get the ball in there, and it winds up incomplete. And it's taken in by his big tight end. And this is going to wind up working out just fine as he'll have a Washington first down. And an exhale there as they convert on fourth. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. You look at this defense for Tampa Bay. This crew against the pass, it's been a real struggle. Second from the bottom in the NFL, number 31. And those are the kind of plays that this unit needs to make because they know that going against a team of this magnitude and the way that they're playing, they cannot afford to let them get on the roll or chip away at their time. He had the touchdown on the opening drive. Now he's got a first down. Straight ahead, it's Robinson. And he stopped immediately there. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. One quarter down, eight nothing the score. Second quarter down from our nation's capital, and it's Washington in possession of the football. As they've got it with a second and ten. Again, it's Robinson. 
And a good job of finding the open space to run as he's down close to the 30 here. They give him 16 yards there, and it's a Washington first down. Robinson up the middle. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Yeah, things were pretty stacked up there in the middle of the line. A lot of bodies, not much space. I think ultimately, he was fortunate to get anything out of that run. And only able to muster a couple of that about the 27. He's definitely tough to get down. We just saw it right there. But how about what we did see? Pursuit, wrap up, and then the big finish with the tackle. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. Out of the gun, they give to Robinson. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. And a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. Back to throw. Howell. Work in the middle of the field. He's got a man complete. Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. First and 10, it's Robinson. And now they're inside the 10 as he's brought down at the 9. From the 9, second and 5. Hand off to Robinson out of the shotgun. And from the 9, they get this to the 5-yard line. The Bucks with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. Robinson will try to pick it up. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. Robinson is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. So stuff from the two, now what? You know me pretty well. What do you think I want here? Play action? Definitely. Let him get outside and create. And if he has to run it, he has a little bit more space. Now they'll send a tight end in motion left. Robinson. And he will make his way back to where he started from, and that's all. As we will make our way to the two-minute warning. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. This Tampa Bay defense, they held strong on the first two plays. Now third and goal. They'll try and run. This is Robinson. Now the Bucks going to use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. A field goal would make it a two-score game, but they're going to go aggressive. They're going to try this thing on fourth and goal. They'll run for it with Robinson. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Washington. Brian Robinson, Jr. with his sixth rushing touchdown on the year. And the commander's decision to go for it pays off with six points. This defense held out as long as they could, but ultimately the running game wears them down from the one-yard line. And that gets set up throughout the entire drive, doesn't it? And when you put those big bodies and determination into that carry, the end result, touchdown. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Now the Buccaneer offense gets set to take over. Still in the first half, but this offense has struggled. Haven't really been able to get anything going, not only in the points category, but in the yards category. Let's see if they can do better here on this drive. They'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Looking to throw on second down. Clinch it. Over the middle, and there's a diving catch. First down now, but that clock rolling. Operating from the gun. Clinch it. Finding Otten once more. That'll go for a gain of seven, and that'll make it second down. Clock running as Washington will try and hurry up. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. So he's three for seven throwing the football right now. Not an awful start, but also not the sharpest of starts. No, I would agree with that, but if you're a confident quarterback in the pullout position, you have to be. You just have 
look like there's something wrong with the wind currents or something wrong with the ball. <laughs> it is not you. Keep throwing. That timing usually develops. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Gets it away, and I don't think Peterson will get a chance to touch this one. Angling for the sideline. Brian Robinson Jr. making his way back onto the field. First month of the season, those numbers pretty solid. Does he continue that? I think so, because when you come out of the gate this strong, that means that you have planned for it and you like the results that you're getting. So I don't have any doubt that the head coach, offensive coordinator, actually called in and called him in and said, look, you're our guy, okay? We're going to continue to stick with this as long as we're winning games. You ready for the challenge? And then they presented it to the rest of the team. I think we'll see plenty of that. Oh, wide open, complete! The commander's going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. They'll throw on first down. Here's Hal. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. And this is caught inside the five. And all the way to the two-yard line there before crossing over out of bounds. How about a 39-yard pickup? They'll take it. Here's first and goal, and gosh, points here. A chance maybe to put this thing away before halftime. Now how? Now he steps away. And he just throws this one away. Smart decision here this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. And down here, first and goal, if it's not there, don't force it. You've got at least two, if not three more shots at it. So that's a wise move to get rid of it. One last shot before the break. Howell flushed out right. And he's just going to throw this one out of bounds here. Nowhere to go with it. Incomplete. All right, folks, eager to get back to this week four matchup. We won't put up a fight. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Second half about to start. The Commanders have the lead. They'll get it first as we are back underway. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And I think he's going to go. They're not going to get him. He will take this all the way. Touchdown, Commanders. I talk about taking words and bringing them to life at halftime. I will guarantee you in their locker room, they talked about pressing the kicking game because you can get an advantage if you do it right, and they just did. And they are three for three on two-point conversions as he is into the end zone for the score. Thorough domination right now, and the game plan is simple, obviously, Charles. They're going for two after every touchdown, and it's 24 to nothing. Don't you just get the sense right now that they're just flexing? I mean, you'd be able to do whatever they want, how they want, three two-point conversions, and now they're up 24 to zip, so essentially they gained a field goal out of it without even trotting the kicker out there. A run to begin the second half with White, and this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. That ground game contained again there, Charles, and that's really a big reason that they're trailing right now. They give a lot of credit to that defensive front. That's exactly what they worked for all week to try and take away the run game, make them one-dimensional in the battle of game plans. Theirs has been superior. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves them with a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Third and short, they'll try option left. And he will be knocked down hard, but he will have the first down. It goes as a gain of eight, and it moves the chains. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. And there's another stop. One of the league's best defenses is certainly bringing it again this week. They'll go up the middle with White. Officially nothing on that one, no gain. So they're left with still 10 to go on third down. Defense, defense, defense. 
operating from the gun. Pritchett. And that is incomplete. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. And this is going to hit the goal line and continue on into the end zone for a touchback. So here is Washington now to take over. They're on a three-game winning streak and right now looking good in this one as well. Powell and the Commanders come up now first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. He'll start with a give to Robinson. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. 23 yards to pick up there. I tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. And they'll get this just to the 47, one-yard gain. And now they're in the hurry up. On second down, another shot for Robinson. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. The 71 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So first and 10, and if they score on this drive, we we'll have to start digging in our second half blowout material. And he'll be marked down at the 26 with a gain of seven. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they are playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. And he'll be brought down inside the 20 at the 19. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. Robinson with another carry. He'll get forward for three down to the 16-yard line. Here's second and seven. Hand off now to Robinson. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. And they're going to speed things up here. On third down, Robinson. He didn't get the touchdown, but he did get the first down as he's tackled at the one. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. Back now at FedEx Field. A lot of happy faces in the crowd at this point as their guys have a big lead here to start quarter number four. They'll run with Robinson, and he will take it in. Touchdown, Commanders. Brian Robinson, Jr. with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Commanders are going to be moving to 4-0 as they extend their lead. And make them four for four now on two-point conversions as he'll take this one in for the score. But I guess when you're hot, you're hot. I mean, I would just go ahead and take the extra point and move on, but apparently they've got something to prove. Almost feels like something was said this week, and they wanted to make sure that they laid it on them in this game. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. And they unfortunately are staring at a mini losing streak developing, trailing here in the fourth quarter. This would be their third straight defeat. On first down, Pritchett looking for Evans, and it's intercepted. Derek Stingley picks it, and they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. CD, this defense, man, at this rate, they're just having fun out there right now. And normally with this type of a lead, if you're a starter on defense, you're saying, hey, let the other guys play. But with this going on, no one wants to come out of the game. They all want their shot at picking off a pass. What a nice burst there as he'll take this inside the 30 to the 28-yard line.
Back to Robinson now on first down. And yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads. Pulled over a few people. Look at that one. Right up the gut. So after three quarters, no reason to line up now. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. They'll run again here with Robinson. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Brings up second and 12 at the 19-yard line. Second down and a run by Robinson. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Whenever we talk about the best strong safeties, one word constantly comes up, and that's instincts. Being able to diagnose run or pass and make the appropriate moves. He crashed down hard there. He was ready for that running play. Setting up the screen for Cook. And he is going to lose yardage here. They've been brilliant, perfect on fourth down so far. Three for three. And they're going to try again here. Powell. That is caught at the seven. And the Commanders are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. Carter, I have to tell you, just one word keeps coming to mind from watching them this afternoon, and that's impressive. They have been impressive from the opening kickoff, and they haven't let up here even into the fourth quarter. So it's Washington with the football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal in a game that appears to have already been decided. Throwing here, Howell. Now they go screen, it's complete. That'll bring up second and goal after the game of five. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. Now it looks like he'll throw here. Right back to Cook for another completion. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Starting to really smell a 4-0 start right now. You can't ask for a better first quarter of the season than that. And you're not supposed to look ahead, but guess what? You're they, going to? They have to. <laughs> because when you get to four, if you get to 4-0, you're not just thinking playoffs now. You're thinking about, okay, this team has the capabilities of winning a Super Bowl. They could very well be the best team in the NFL at this moment. I think they played the best. I mean, there have been a few hiccups offensively and defensively, but probably the best team we've seen, right? And has the ability to get better. McManus's point after is good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Back now comes Tampa Bay. Well, it's been a struggle so far for this offense, Charles. It's not only that they haven't been able to put the points up, but really stringing yards together has been a real issue for them in this one. I'm so glad you brought up the yardage because I was thinking to myself, we've seen a lot of NFL games, and we've seen our share of lopsided contests, but in almost all of them, both offenses put up at least 200 yards in a game, but not in this one. This has been a display of offense that, frankly, I think the two of us have watched from behind our hands, trying to spread our fingers wide enough to actually see the result. Here's White. They set up the screen. Five yards on first down, but now just a one-yard pickup there on second. This now a third and four. Looking to throw. Pritchett. Evans has it left side. And he is going to have a box first down by about a yard. It's a gain of five on third and four. I don't care how many times we see it. I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass tree in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Here's second and ten. Oh. 
Again, he'll drop to throw. This one taken in by Otten. And Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Takes this to the 45. Not much space after that broken tackle. Now the commander is going to burn the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything going for Evans, but that pass is intercepted. Picked off by Emmanuel Forbes. Down the right sideline, and he will bring this one back. An interception return for the Commanders touchdown. And not only is this defense pitching a shutout, now they're contributing points themselves. I mean, they have really put together what's almost been a perfect effort here in this one. I love how you express that. They've absolutely exceeded expectations in this one. And even better than their play, it's been their effort. Even with the win in their back pocket already, every one of those guys is still out there fighting like it's a tie game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. No run back here, down to a knee, and this drive will start at the 25. The Tampa offense ready to get their drive started. Well, I hate to say it, but at this point, I don't really know that they're playing to win with this deficit in the fourth quarter. They're just trying to erase that zero on the scoreboard, Charles, and get some type of momentum to carry into the film session tomorrow. If you get any type of points on the board, it'll count as a moral victory, although no one will talk about that in the post-game press conference. That's not something you mentioned in the NFL. And this loss, it already stings and will for a while, but everyone that offense knows. And that is going to officially draw the curtain on this one as the last throw intercepted. Picked up by Pat Sertan. And the Commanders are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. For the winning team here, Charles, that's about as big and clean of a win as you could hope for in the National Football League. No turnovers. While you, meanwhile, you forced turnovers. You didn't allow any points, and you put up a bunch of points. What an effort. And, Brandon, I just have to ask you, that's all the stuff that we saw happen today. Those are statistics, numbers. Oh, man. Oh man, oh man. Not again. Hold on. I love the game, but will you want to see? You can never check me. Back from back. Say, no, let me stop. Let me stop. Let me stop. I get comfortable. Definitely, definitely exhilaration back. Man, I got a lot. That was a big, big game for us, bro. Man to man. I got to build out that man to man coverage. Because, bro, that defense, bro. The defense, the defense that I, oh, like I play, that jump was just dropping. That jump was just dropping up the defense the whole game, bro. I mean, not dropping up the defense, dropping up the offense the whole game, bro. And shout outs to my tight, shout outs to my tight end. My tight end went off this game, bro. Like legitly went off. Six catches. Did I even did I even throw the Terry McClellan this game? Yeah, uh, yeah. Next game I'm throwing the. Did I even throw to nobody like that this game? Oh my God! But shout out to my tight end, bro. My tight end just cooked the team by itself, bro. Straight up cooked the team by itself, bro. We didn't get, did we get any sacks that game? No, we didn't get no sacks that game. That's crazy, we didn't get no sacks that game. Golly. But, bro, shout out to my tight end and my running back, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I've been running the ball the whole game, I'm not gonna lie. But, great team, great team win, bro. Next week, we play against the Baltimore Ravens, bro. Do we play home or we play away? Or we play away. That's not bad. We play away. But Terry McClone go get the ball. Terry McClone, I got to get Terry McClone the ball. 
this game. I'll go uh, before a second now. Dang, me and Patrick Mahomes got 10 touchdowns. That's crazy. Emmanuel Forks and Patrick Sertain. Well, Emmanuel Forks got four. Patrick Sertain got three. All right, cool, 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 cool. That's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. Second and offense. What we have? First at defense. Still first at defense. Good. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see from this team. That's what I like to see from this team. Who's still undefeated? Are we the only ones that's still undefeated? I think so. How long was this video? 35 minutes. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, what I might do, uh, y'all, and whoever's um, at the last part of this video, what I might do, I might just sim through the whole season and just play the playoffs again. But I am gonna be, I am gonna post like the week four, you know, week one all the way up to like I think we have what like week five. I'm gonna be posting that, but now I'm just gonna sim to. Um, matter of fact, I do this. No, no, no. I do it. I do it. I do it. I do it later. I do it later. Um, but I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, uh, after this, after this game, I don't want to do this game. I'm going to sim to, sim to the playoffs after this game. Yeah, I want to send to the playoffs after this game. Well, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, more lit content is going to be in the way. Love you guys, and I'm signing out.